Hey everybody, Jake here and welcome to The Hobby. If you're new to the channel, then every single Thursday, we cover the latest news that is hitting the world of Pokemon collecting. And boy, do we have some cool stuff to talk about in today's video. We have yet to have a boring week, so let's jump right into it. First news topic of today's video, we definitely have to talk about Special Delivery Pikachu. This was actually the most requested story of this week and well-deserved. Special Delivery Pikachu is a very popular English promo card. Um, it's been holding strong at around $100, but within one week, the price on this card has risen to right around $300. So a 200% price increase within one week and a big reason for the price jump for the raw ungraded card is actually thanks to the graded copies of special delivery pikachu really ridiculous sales figure honestly on the psa 10 i said that a psa 10 copy would most likely be reasonable right around two thousand dollars some people said that was a bold statement i guess not because the car has been selling for what appears to be 5,000, 7,000, 8,000, and one for $14,000. We're definitely gonna have to look at if these numbers are even legitimate. But yeah, really ridiculous price point. A big reason for why PSA 10 Special Delivery Pikachu is so expensive is because it is kind of a hard card to grade. If you look at the PSA population report, and as of my research, there were 136 total special delivery Pikachu cards graded by PSA so far. Of those 136 copies, 17 are PSA 10. So what that means is that realistically, if you were to purchase a raw ungraded copy of special delivery Pikachu, there would be a 10% chance that your copy would be PSA 10 material. Most likely it'll be PSA 9 or 8. So that means it is a challenging card to get a PSA 10 copy of. Making the high price for the PSA 10 graded copy kind of reasonable. Certainly I don't think uh, 5,000, 7,000, 8,000, 14,000 dollars is reasonable, but we'll definitely get to that. If you look at specifically the 14,000 dollar bidding, it looks really suspicious to me. A lot of people have said this before, it's really difficult to verify if an eBay bid is legitimate. eBay does not actually tell you if a sale actually officially occurred or not. Bids are shilled all the time, people see high bids all the time, people see fake bids all the time. The 14,000 bid actually looks extra suspicious. The winning bidder had zero reviews, which is very unique. That's not something you would really see, right? It doesn't really make sense for a brand new account to be bidding up a special delivery card, right? That's usually a seasoned bidder that would pay 14 grand for a Pokemon card. Someone that has a hundred purchase under their belt might be willing to spend some more on a special copy of a high-end Pokemon card, but a brand new account, that doesn't look legitimate to me. Uh, we don't know what the actual legitimate final bid price for these cards are. I think the most likely ones would be the bids that were right around five to 6,000. Outside of that point, I feel like you're starting to look at the realm of fake bids at that point. I think five to 6,000 could still be very legitimate for a raw ungraded card that is going for $300. Does it make sense for special delivery Pikachu to be $300? That is so hard to say. Honestly, I don't know any collector that saw that coming. Uh, anyone that did, maybe you should be watching them instead because I certainly didn't see that coming. Uh, it's a really cool card. I don't know if it's worth $300, kind of cool. Uh, but what this does mean is that it makes me extremely wary for the release of Special Delivery Charizard, which might be the most hype Pokemon card release that I've seen forever. I've never seen this much hype for a card. Even European viewers who can't get the card and are kind of frustrated 
by it, understandably so, are still excited for the release. I see so many European people messaging me on how they can get themselves a copy. Uh, honestly, I think if you're from outside of the North American area, most likely, I think you should voice your concern, message the Pokemon Center, message the Pokemon company, tweet at them, let them know that you're frustrated that you are outside of the region and you are frustrated that you can't get a copy. Definitely let them hear your concern. Something might happen out of it. I hope that this card becomes available to fans and collectors in other regions as well. I don't think that it's cool that it's region locked. It's kind of neat, but at the same time, I would prefer it wasn't for whatever reason. Overall, card is super hype. I don't know how the release of Special Delivery Charizard cannot be a clown fiesta. No matter how you look at it, it's gonna be a debacle, it's gonna be a mess. This card is just too hyped. Whatever system they have in place at the Pokemon Center is not working. Whatever they have in place is not working. It's not stopping bots. It's not stopping people from buying multiple copies. It's not stopping the limits. They have purchased limits on a lot of items and it's simply uh, not working. So yeah, overall, I'm really concerned about the release of Special Delivery Charizard. I don't know why this is such a big issue because the Pokemon Center in Japan releases limited stuff all the time and it's usually not so much of a mess. They usually have things well under control. They usually have good systems in place. The most liked example that I can show is definitely the Hyper Rare Charizard V Max Trophy card. Super cool card. Only 1200 copies of the Hyper Rare Charizard V Max Trophy card was released. This is the Japanese version, very different from the English version, much more exclusive. And anyone could get this card. The interesting thing was all you had to do was uh, play a couple games from home and you would be entered to a lottery system, which is very common in Japan. They'll do lotteries so that everyone sort of has a safe chance of picking up a copy. I actually know a viewer or two that was able to pick up a copy of this card. It was actually sent to them by mail. Congratulations. This card is currently going for over $20,000 in a PSA 10 condition. So wow, what a cool card to just show up in your mailbox one day, right? I don't know if they could do that with the special delivery Charizard. Maybe, I don't know what system they or what plan they have for it in place, but whatever it is, I don't think it's gonna work. So they might need to re-strategize Special Delivery Charizard's release. Whatever they have in place, I don't know if it's good enough. So I hope that they have something that would somehow feasibly make it okay. Maybe, maybe the card just should not be ready to be released. I hope maybe they'll release the card when the hype dies down and it just quietly slips out. No one has to even know it's coming out. I don't know. I don't know what their plans for special delivery Charizard is, but whatever they have in place, it most likely needs to be scrapped and turned around because uh, the Pokemon Center is kind of mess right now, which is why we're going right into the next topic. Talk about a segue because our very next topic is also related to the Pokemon Center and that is the Bear Walker 25th anniversary skateboard debacle. It is what it is and that is a debacle. The skateboard was released on January 19th, a Tuesday, a very calm morning, nothing really exciting and the site crashed. The Pokemon Center site crashed for multiple hours and it was unreachable by a large majority of people that wanted to purchase this skateboard, which is kind of disappointing for a lot of fans for sure. Uh, I actually logged on to the website three hours after the release. I kind of just forgot about it and was like, oh yeah, that skateboard releases today. And I couldn't reach the site. Uh, the whole entire thing was completely crashed. You most likely saw a Pikachu looking worried and it's kind of a mess that this is a release of a limited skateboard and the site is already crashing, uh, let alone something like Special Delivery Par uh, Charizard. So yeah, whatever the Pokemon Center is doing, it is not raising my confidence level. The whole entire mess with the skateboard was such a debacle that they actually had to release an official statement uh, right after it. 
and I actually got an email from them, most likely because I'm a regular customer. If you are someone that has purchased from the Pokemon Center before, you might have gotten the exact same email. It reads, Dear Trainer, we released the Pokemon Center X Bear Walker Pikachu 25th Celebration Skateboard today. Our site experienced technical issues that prevented customers from placing their pre-order. We understand how frustrating this can be and sincerely apologize for any inconvenience. Please know that the Pokemon Center X Bear Walker Pikachu Celebration Skateboard isn't sold out and that we will be available around 1 p.m. Pacific time, January 21st. So two and a half hours from the release of this video, they're going to be back up for sale. This is your announcement. May the odds ever be in your favor. Uh, once again, this has not raised my confidence for the release of Special Delivery Charizard. What I can say is that 2021 is going to be an extremely interesting year for the hobby. It does not look boring at all, and I'm excited for what's to come. All right, guys, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Honestly, it doesn't look like the hype in the Pokemon hobby is dying down at all. It's actually looking to be a continuing euphoric state of more and more hype. Lots of people are really excited. Everyone is scrambling to get their piece of collectibles. It's pretty gnarly that something as niche as a skateboard is just crashing the Pokemon Center website for hours and hours. Uh, really crazy stuff. Special Delivery Pikachu, an ungraded copy, going for $300. That car just came out as pretty much what is a free promo. That is absolutely insane. Uh, what do you guys think about it? Do you guys think that the hype is just reaching absolute insane levels? Let me know down in the comment what you guys think. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.